Yes, it's a costume, but she always wears the costume. It never wears her. Moving down from the headdresses, attention to detail with all kinds of accessories is part of the polish, from the tip of the toes to the last little earring. Glitter and jewels catch the light. The hard glamour against the softness of the body sets up the more exaggerated look. Time for a rundown of my favourite striptease costume terms. Wings, literally fabric wings, pleated or smooth, connected at the performer's neck and floor length, used for wing dancing of a dramatic or elegant nature. Corsets, including waspies, overbust and underbust. The Victorians of early burlesque theatre wore corsetry, which gave them their hourglass figures. They've remained a solid staple foundation garment ever since, their popularity ebbing and flowing with fashion, but always a favourite when an hourglass is called for. Not to be confused with Grandma's surgical corset. Bustiers and corselets, boudoir wear, less rigid than a corset, often with incorporated suspender snaps. Snaps, buttons and fastenings for easy and quick removal of garments. Panels, floor skimming lengths of diaphanous fabric that attach to a G-string or panties at the front and back and can be removed. Very typical of the 50s and 60s era. The Merkin, pubic wig. My Merkins are decorated with diamonds. Modern dressing room slang include pusty and muff cover. And my favorite, pasties, cover our nipples. Traditionally round, but can be any novelty shape. The sparklier, the better. We also adorn them with tassels, which can be twirled. We stick them on with tip tape or surgical adhesive. I must have mm, 100 pairs. It's ironic that to cover up those little circles of joy from public eyes, we decorate and draw attention to them.